Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we make this fight prediction for uh, next week's fight night, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button as hard as you possibly can. Leave a thumbs up if you do appreciate these videos. And as always, hit that bell notification so you get notified when I put these out. Let's jump into it. So today we're talking about Kennedy and Zekichu. And that's how you say it versus uh, Carl Robeson. Carl Robeson was doing pretty well in his UFC. Um, he, I think he has two or three wins in the UFC, but it's been a long time since he's won. Um, he beat Wellington Tournament by split decision. He uh, beat Roman Kapilov by rear naked choke, which is so freaking big, especially for how bad he's been as of late. Um, he lost to Marvin Vittori. He talked a lot of crap, missed weight super bad in that fight, and was submitted. He got bullied in that fight. Brandon Allen... Robeson, I thought, looked decent at moments in, in that fight. But Brandon Allen, very, very good ground game, submitted him with a heel hook. <clears throat> and then Khalil Roundtree bullied him. This is three finish losses in a row. I'm surprised, honestly, that he's getting this. Um, this was three months ago, so he must have taken it pretty quickly afterwards. So I do think we'll see a pretty hyped up Carl Robinson. He really needs this win so freaking bad. He's two and three in his last five fights. He's nine and five overall on a three fight losing skip. Uh, 31 years old, he'll be 32 in a couple months. Six one with a 74 inch reach. Kennedy in Zekichu is nine win has nine wins, three losses. He's three and two in his last five fights. He also he has two losses in a row. Um, he was finished by Da On Chung, standing elbow. It was nasty knockout. So nasty. And then he lost to Nick Nergerman, Mineral, something like that. I thought Kennedy won. I thought he did more than Nick did. I had him win in that fight, and the judges didn't see it like that. I don't know how, but whatever. 30 years old as of three weeks ago. 206. He's a big boy. 6'5", uh, 4-inch height advantage, and he has 83-inch reach. He has a 9-inch reach advantage. And he's pretty good at using that length later in the fight. Early in the fight was ten is where he tends to get hit. It's, it's where he tends to struggle the most. So I really believe that's where we're going to see Carl Robeson really go at Kennedy. But we really haven't seen anything spectacular or crazy or anything for me to be able to pick Carl Robeson in this fight. I think Kennedy, later in the rounds, lights him up like a Christmas tree. He either gets that late finish that Kennedy also needs to uh, gets a late finish or wins a um, decision. I think, again, like I said, I think Robeson is going to look decent. Um, in the first round, I think he's going to look pretty good. I think he's going to try to overwhelm Kennedy and try to get him out of there. But I don't think he'll be able to get him out. And I think Kennedy comes back in the second and the third and really put a stamp on the fight and win the fight. As always, guys, hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And as always, 